What's going on, you guys? It is your boy, the American F1 fan, Eric Ringle here, and today, Formula One is finally back out on the track. The 2023 season is finally upon us, but there's a more important topic to talk about today as Lance Stroll has made his return to the track. But was it a little bit too soon? Let's get on to, into that discussion now. So with the 2023 season starting, free practice one and free practice two were today. And I think the more important story to talk about today is and has got to be Lance Stroll. So Lance Stroll makes his return to the track just one week after he had to sit out testing in Bahrain. He's now back on the grid and... For me, at least, watching Free Practice 2 today and, and hearing some of the things that were said over the radio, and I'm going to I'm gonna kind of put it in one of these areas right here, uh, the radio transmission that we heard, um, you know, but it was basically, you know, they talked about him trying to not use so much steering wheel in the first corner, and then he came back and said... I, you know, he because he's compromising turn two, and then he says, well, I can't with my hands. And it, when he said that, I was like, okay, you know, maybe he's a little bit sore right now, and it's not a, it's not a huge deal. But, you know, it, so then Sky Sports and on ESPN, they start showing his steering going into turn one. And I'm going to show you a picture of this, what his, what the still shot was when he uh, was steering into turn one. And this caused me a, ma a massive amount of concern. So Lance is literally taking his hand off the steering wheel and basically using his, his left hand to, to push the wheel as far as it can possibly go, making that turn into turn one. And after seeing this, and then hearing that he had, earlier in the day, they have um, basically mandatory to, uh, set times. You have to basically show the FIA that you can get out of your car without any major assistance, um, and you were timed on this. Well, Lance Stroll fails the first time, so then the FIA you know, gave him a little bit, then they, you know, they let him go again, and then he eventually passed. Um, but that's my next, that's the second concern that I've now heard. You know, and then at the end of free practice two, the picture of this right here, of the team having to basically help him out of the car, has basically settled it for me. And the FIA, and I'm, I'm going to say this, the FIA needs to step in tomorrow. I'm recording this video on Friday evening, um, you know, before free practice three and qualifying tomorrow. The FIA needs to step in and tell Aston Martin that they need to sit Lance Stroll for this race until he is fully recovered. We are looking at another safety situation. Like I said, obviously Lance, with his, with him having to pull the hand off the steering wheel, there's your first ma major safety concern. You know, is he going to be able to avoid cars going into that corner? You know, you're going to have to jerk the steering wheel a lot sometimes. You know, you may get hit. It may, you know, jam your wrist. It may, you know, it... Obviously, with the pin that's in his wrist, it's it's already going to create some, you know, concern. And, you know, then having him try to drive that car and he's taking his hand off the steering wheel, it's asking for somebody to hit him and he can't control it anymore. And then he injures that wrist even worse. Um, then you've got the fact that he can't get out of his car quick enough. Yes, he passed the test the second time around, but I mean, if we're really thinking about it, Lance Stroll had a horrible time trying to get out of his car and failed the first test. Well, what's not to say, you know, if you're going through a race weekend and, you know, you've been putting all these miles on the car and on the wrist and, you know, you're not fully 100% recovered and, 
you know, God forbid we have another accident like we did with Roman Groshan in Bahrain, you know, is Lance going to be able to get out of the car as quickly as, you know, say Roman did? And I find that to be extremely concerning. And then, you know, the fact that they had to pull him out of the car, it just, this is, you know, with everything we hear from the FIA talking about, you know, we care about driver safety, you know, the teams care, talk about driver safety. We even heard it during Drive to Survive, you know, the team principals talking about driver safety and, you know, making sure that they're really caring about it. It needs to be, because obviously Aston Martin has made the, the choice that they're going to allow him to drive this weekend. So I think at this point, the FIA needs to step in tomorrow morning before free practice three begins and say, you've got one of two choices. We either, you either replace Lance Stroll for this weekend, let him recover and get more towards 100%, or we will not pass his car and not allow it to be on track. That needs to be the two choices. They either force Aston Martin to sit him, or Aston Martin doesn't get to race his car. Because we are looking at a safety issue to where God forbid something happens, Lance can't get out of the car, or, you know, Lance hit, hurts his wrist even more and, you know, jeopardizes his career. There's too many things here that scream safety. And, you know, the FIA talks about safety all the time. Well, here's your chance. Here's your chance to prove to not only Formula One fans, but, you know, to the Formula One drivers, the teams that you do care about safety. But, Guys, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. What do you guys think? Should Lance Stroll be allowed to race this weekend for Aston Martin? Or should he be sat down by either the FIA, Aston Martin, whoever? Does he need to be sat down? So, guys, let me know that in the comment section down below. Guys, as always, slap a like on my video for, you know, to help this video get out to more and more Formula One fans. I know this is a little bit shorter of a video, but I just wanted to kind of get my thoughts out there. Um, on the whole Lance Stroll situation. But guys, slap a like on this video for me. If you guys could, that would help me out immensely. And guys, if you are new to my channel, please subscribe if you guys are new for more daily and weekly Formula 1 content. And if you guys subscribe now, I'm going live on Sunday for the Bahrain Grand Prix. We are going to be doing a watch along there. I'm going to have stats. I'm going to have Twitter. I'm going to have so much up. You guys can join along. You guys can donate to the channel. You guys can do so much with me for this watch along. So join me on Sunday for the Bahrain Grand Prix. But guys, thank you so much for watching this video. And guys, for the American F1 fan, I'm Eric Ringle, signing off.